Hey everybody, well, I'm going to talk about open sourcing and the future of humanity here in a little bit um, and my thoughts on it. Um, so right now, I think the base, the most important thing that we should focus on is for this conversation is a social structure or our social being and how we exist as, as, as a race or a species. Now, um, if we look at the observations of nature, there are a bunch of different examples of how creatures, organisms, um, organize um, or interact systematically. And uh, one in particular that we are a lot like and model off after our, um, our wolves, orcas, and how they have a um, you know, very social creature. They have their alpha uh, male or alpha female, and they have their omega, and they have a pecking order, right? A hierarchy. So geometrically, it would be considered like a, a triangle or a, or a pyramid in a sense. And that's kind of their social order. Now, that's not that's not where it ends a lot of times because the for every perception there's an interaction with the environment so that pyramid can end up making a diamond we just don't see the other part you know whatever but um that is primarily based upon a western idea and this western idea uh, says that you know you earn to live right according to a, sta a standard model that's been passed down by very short-lived generations truly if in the grand scheme of how long uh, how long humanity has been around uh, it's very short short-lived time frame uh, but that's how we operate right now so and that is based upon capitalism uh, free market trade free market society is what, what it's called um, although how free are we really I mean we have to kind of abide by the rules that are in place so there's not a whole lot of freedom so there's a lot of constraint but we won't get too far into that um, but what this does kind of model is that hierarchy, that, that predatorial menta mentality in that you have people who are privileged, who've been born into privilege or who've earned their privilege to be on a higher standing. Um, and there's an idea of greater and lesser. And if, again, if we look into nature at some other models of some of the most successful creatures in all of the world, uh, we see like plankton, you know, phytoplankton, tons of, uh, uh plant organisms, um, tons of, of of fish and schools of schools of fish and flocks of birds that all work together there's no one necessarily necessary leader they just work together and create you know a, a structure of, uh, of 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 a unified leadership in that and they are a lot more predominant on this planet too they don't they they are open to be able to you know, the most adaptable to change would be the best way to state it. And um, why is that so important to be open? One one aspect to look at is if you're if somebody says, "Hey, I have there there's danger this way. We should go this way," and the whole group listens to them without like a question or anything like that, you know, then there's a chance that they they will be safe right now many people think oh well they made that they could be leading him off a cliff well yeah okay that's always that that's always there's always potential there but there's an interaction between the group that they accept and listen but you know they use their own eyes as well you know so um it's a unique uh, it's a, everybody's a unique leader in, in a different way so um why is why is that so important? Another reason why it's so important, I personally think, is like the rate at which we can change would be far faster if we didn't rely on um, an idea of funding, like you know, a, a single person funding for vested interest. And what I mean by that is you're not going to be able to fund something that's incredibly abundant if you. I mean, you can, but you, it's not good business sense. It doesn't, and, and if our social sciences are up front, I mean, we interact socially with the environment before we do anything else. And that's, that's the human energy is time and, and what we give. Um, and so if we, if we have to wait for uh, 
due process to run its course as far as I'm mean, as far as safety and things like that it's inc incredibly important right it's like the whole jumping off the cliff thing but as far as um, um, financial gain and to get your profit back that you know what is profit you know that's another really good question well profit to me isn't necessarily financial I like to look at things like in, in a bigger picture and see that there's profitability in the the advancement of our race, so things are more are, are easier for us. So, you know, there isn't children starving. You know, there are people in general. I shouldn't just say children. I just use children because they're, they're a little more innocent. We're supposed to take care of them. Everyone's supposed to take care of a child, right? So, um, and there wouldn't be so much illness. Also, I mean, I don't personally believe because there's instead of a profit means there would be the uh, the need to, you know, help the illness help. You know a true cure which is not always a one shot type of deal it's, uh, many times it's a it's a group a succession of of different things that are interacting to create an illness so i i guess i shouldn't dig, dig too deep into that one but um and so i personally think the greatest profit especially with open sourcing is that everybody contributes and adds to something and it cascades and creates something a lot more than it would have been if it was um, isolated and separate from the greater thought patterns of humanity, so to speak, or, or, or discoveries and explorations. Uh, so that's my personal belief on the open sourcing thing and, and why it's so important. And, and just, I mean, the way I was raised and conditioned um, was very much, you know, you give, your, you give yourself to you just give that's all you do it's, i mean you, you you're always giving something but what are you giving you know are you giving um something that's progressive or something that's deconstructive or are you giving something that's um perhaps just complete destruction um and oftentimes it's not a bad thing you know good and bad's all relative but um sometimes uh, ethically or morally you know if, you, if you're trying to self-preserve your you know your ego or who you are um you know, then what's to gain really? You, you, you might gain, you might make yourself feel better, um, your, your mind, but overall, are you really learning? I mean, are, are, are we really learning together? So that's, that's some deeper stuff. And then the most important thing, I guess, to say would be that, you know, change, like myself, I talk about all this, and I, but I need to express it in action. It's change, you know, only comes from within. You only can change yourself. So, you know, the, me saying this, I'm expressing it because I'm trying to give a state of a state of of awareness of, of how things could potentially be. I'm not saying this is fa absolutely factual. These are just some of my thoughts, and um, so uh, I am trying to change as much as possible. I'm always changing, but I am inf I am influencing, I'm interacting to change in a progressive way that hopefully. Um, I, I can, you know, give a lot, but of course, yeah, like I was told recently, you have to fill your cup up before you can give to others, and uh, it's a very, very good point, so um, that's what I'm trying to do, so I hope this was of some interest to some of you out there, and uh, especially, you know, the titans of industry, that, that's, uh, you know, if you look into what your uh, science and manufacturing is going to produce, what's its true benefit what's its true goal is it to make a profit is it because then it's the um system of creation is is influenced by the ego the system of self-preservation uh so and uh yeah that's pretty much all i gotta say so thanks for watching guys